Come with me, toy fans. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Now a number of weeks or maybe months ago, I don't remember exactly which, um, <clears throat> but yeah, a number of weeks ago, um, I uploaded an unboxing video from my good buddy, uh, Joseph in the United States. And Joseph sent me a fantastic donation to the channel of a mint, well, it wasn't originally mint, um, but what is now a mint Cobra Rattler because um, Joseph fully restored this. Now, I do intend to do one of my traditional G.I. Joe toy reviews um, of this particular toy, the Cobra Rattler, um, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit special, and dedicate this video to Joseph. So I've decided to film a bit of a, uh, a G.I. Joe comic book styled adventure. So uh, I hope you enjoy. seen shipwreck well the old sea dogs out there where he belongs shipwreck you better check the perimeter one more time if there's any pesky cobras out there I'll find them I'm not sure but I think I smell a snake ah commander I found them. Firefly has confirmed the location of the Joel's tactical battle platform. You know what to do, Wild Weasel. Take the Baroness with you. Yes, I will not fail you. You better not. Cobra Commander expects results. Joe will return after these messages. So just to give you my initial thoughts on the Cobra Rattler, this is one of those toys that I desperately, desperately wanted when I was a child. Um, I actually mentioned in a recent um, video where I talked about my, uh, my favorite Christmas memories um, was that I really, really wanted the Cobra Rattler in 1986. Um, and I didn't get the Cobra Rattler, I got the Cobra Hydrofall. Still a great toy. Um, but the Rattler was what I wanted. Um, it's, a, it's a tremendous toy. Very, very fragile. Um, you need to be careful with the landing gear. Um, it has lots of bombs and missiles that can easily be lost. Um, I think the hinges on the canopies are, uh, are quite fragile. Um, but I'm just still overwhelmed that Joseph kind of donated this to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Um, yeah. All right, let's see if the Joes get out of this pickle. Now back to G.I. Joe. Yes, our first catch of the day. Uh oh, the snakes have found me. Joes, there's a rattler coming. Did you hear that? Something's coming up on the monitor. Rattler inbound. Oh, Joes, man your battle stations. Wild Weasel, target the helipad. Yes. Up, 
bomb, Weasel. Get a bomb on the helipad. Bombs armed. Barbecue, get that fire out. If that rattler comes around again, we're in big trouble. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Cobra Rattler, it's the wickedest weapon yet you know. Rattler's gonna get G.I. Joe. Introducing the Cobra Rattler. Check my missiles! Rattler's gonna stop G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. It's Rattler's. G.I. Joe is there. Cobra Rattler comes with Pilot. Other G.I. Joe and Cobra figures and equipment sold separately from Hasbro. Now, back to G.I. Joe. That Rattler's coming around again. Hawk, you better get yourself a weapon. You hear that? Chopper inbound. It's the Action Force. Full Force! No, Action Force. We hit. Return to base. You got here just in the nick of time. Yeah, that rattler won't be back, but you've still got a Cobra spy watching. Really? Where? It's okay. Stalker's taking care of it. Stalker? He's back at Joe headquarters. No, this is the Action Force Stalker. Next time, Firefly. Next time. I'm sorry I failed you, Destro. Perhaps you will have better luck with your new vehicle. Is the Rattler to be decommissioned? Yes. Mars Industries has created a new vehicle for you to fly. Meet the Roboscope. The Robo what? Okay, I have to say that having the Action Force SAS come in and save the Joes, um, I hope you take that as a bit of a friendly jibe towards all you awesome American viewers. Um, you know, having the having the Brits come in to save the Americans. At the end of the day, we were all you know I, I served in Iraq and we were all part of the uh, uh, the same coalition. Uh, you know, we were all there for the same effort. Um, and I have nothing but respect for Americans and particularly American service men and women. Um, uh, they really did take good care of me during my sort of four years working as a private security contractor in the Middle East. So, yeah, so that, that was just a friendly jibe. Please don't take it personally and write some horrible comments. Um, but the, uh, the final scene there where... Um, Destro announces that Wild Weasel's new ride is the Robo Skull. Um, well, that actually comes from the fact that in the Palatoy Action Force line, the Robo Skull was originally piloted by uh, Red Wolf. Um, and then in the 1985 year, which was the transition between, that year was really the transition between the Palatoy Action Force and then the Action Force international heroes that I knew of when I was a kid. Um, during that time, they took a lot of the Action Force vehicles and then they paired them up um, with G.I. Joe figures. And that particular Robo Skull, uh, although, yeah, although mine is piloted by the original Red Wolf, uh, the one that I have in my collection is actually the second issue version that you can see has got these, um, these additional stickers on the side of the, uh, the skull there. Uh, well, this second version was actually piloted by Wild Weasel. Uh, it was the exact same figure that Palatoy just took from Hasbro. Both Wild Weasel and the Robo Skull are going to appear in my one of my first feature videos in 2020, which is going to be my video review of the Action Force Robo Skull. So I just thought the way this whole story uh, played out um, with Robo Skull, final, uh, sorry, with Wild Weasel finally getting Robo Skull at the end was kind of a little bit poetic, so to speak. So. Um, 
Thank you very much, Joseph. I absolutely adore this Rattler. And also thank you to Kevin Clark for the donation of the awesome acrylic stand that this uh, sits upon. Um, and that video uh, you'll probably see before this one. It's already uploaded. It's just on Patreon at the moment. It'll probably be on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, but which is weird because when I talk to you guys and say tomorrow, you probably won't see this for a few days. So it's all a bit back to the future kind of thing. Anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this guys. I just thought I'd try something a little bit different. It was very time consuming shooting a video like this, um, but I really enjoyed it. Yes, very time consuming, kind of a little bit frustrating at times, uh, getting all the individual shots and, um, but I did really enjoy editing this and, you know, piecing in all the, the sound effects and, uh, you know, the, the ambient sound and all that kind of thing. Um, but at the end of the day, the main thing for me is that I really hope that Joseph likes this video because I am really, really appreciative of the donation of a Cobra Rattler. Um, and I kind of wanted to return the favor by making a video that I think that you would enjoy. So thanks to Joseph and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.